All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and to some early firearms doe season hunting. Here in Virginia, during the month of September, a lot of counties have an early firearm season for antlerless deer only, which is the perfect time to go out and get a couple of does in the freezer before the regular old archery season starts. And that's just what we're gonna try and do today. I wanna keep this intro pretty short for you guys so we can get right into the action, but I did wanna run through our setup and our thought process real quick before we jump into there. So as for the setup we're gonna be running for today's hunt, we're going to be running my Remington 870 Special Purpose. It is a retired police gun. It has an 18 and a half inch fully rifled cantilever barrel, loophole VX1, 2 to 7 by 28. So this is a very nice setup that should absolutely hammer some does. And for our ammo, we're going to be running some of the Remington Premier AccuTip Sabo slugs. They are a 2 and 3 quarter inch, 385 grain projectile. And we've seen some very nice accuracy with these and they should absolutely get it done as well. So we know we got a nice setup. Now, one thing I do want to mention real quick, I'm not going to be shooting any fawns and I really don't like to shoot a doe that has a fawn still following her around either, which is a real possibility when it comes to these early season hunts. At this point, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but it's just something that I always like to do. So if we get in that situation, we may not take the shot. But enough talking, let's jump out here to the first day in the stand and see what we can actually make happen. All right, y'all, well, we are in the stand now. It is currently Sunday, September 22nd. So I am three weeks late to the party, essentially, for this early firearms doe season here in Virginia. But hey, I finally got everything together and got the time to get out here. And we're in a good spot this evening. I see no reason why we shouldn't have deer coming through here pretty early. This stand is pretty much always producing deer through it in the evenings. It rained all night last night and most of the morning today. So everything's wet. We got in here nice and quiet. It is a little bit thick down in here still with the greenery, but we've definitely got some shot opportunities and windows down in here. So I guess it's just time to wait now and see if we can actually get something to come by here. Wind is pretty much a non-factor for this evening, to be honest with you. There's like none, but we should be in a good spot. We know we've got a good setup in this 870 and we should be able to hit something pretty hard with these slugs. So I guess we'll pick you guys back up as soon as something interesting comes along and hopefully we should be able to get another doe out of this spot because we got one last year right at the same time of year with the 35 Remington. So we're in a good spot. So now it's just waiting time. Alright y'all, well, I know the camera's dark, but not much I can do about it at this point. I guess that's going to be the end of evening number one here. We did end up seeing one deer, but there was no way I could have ever gotten it on film. I saw this deer for all of two seconds, maybe. I have no idea where it came from. The only reason I saw it is because I heard it step in some water. I only saw the back half of it, so I couldn't even tell you if it was a buck or a doe. That's just part of it when it comes to this early season hunting, when the woods are still really thick like that. Either way, I guess we didn't get skunked, but that's just the way it is sometimes. But I was definitely hoping for a little bit better of an evening. But I guess I'll catch back up with you guys when we're back out in the stand again. All right, well, we're back out in the stand for day number two here. We've got pretty much copy and paste conditions from yesterday. Little to no wind at all, but it has been this misty, dreary, rainy, light sprinkle stuff on and off all day long. So everything is wet, everything is quiet. It's good for us because we can get in here quietly, but that also means the deer can move pretty much silently as well. And when you're hunting early season like this and you've got this thick of woods, that can get pretty tricky sometimes. So you got to have your head on a constant swivel. So I guess we'll wait it out and I think we're going to have a break in this misty rain here over the next half an hour or so. So hopefully deer are going to be up and moving. So I guess I'll pick you guys up if something good happens.
All right, y'all. Well, as you can see, we made it out of the stand a little bit earlier than usual tonight. And I gotta be honest, this evening did not go the way I had planned it to. It had been misty rain all day, on and off. And there was supposed to be a break between 4 and about 9 o'clock. And that didn't really happen. Within a couple minutes after those does moved along there, the sky absolutely opened up. And it was just a torrential downpour for the next almost two hours. And with the leaves still being so thick and that much rain... There's a big dense fog coming into this bottom and I just can't see nearly as good as what I normally would be able to. The scope and the camera lenses and all are fogging up so I just decided while there was no deer around me to just hop down and ease my way out. Either way, day number two, at least we saw a handful of deer but never got a chance at anything. So I guess on to the next one. All right, so fast forward the next day, we were back out in the stand again, but we did not wind up seeing anything for day number three. It was rather surprising for that stand, but it's just luck of the draw. So there was really nothing interesting to see on day number three, but let's jump a few days later to what would be my day number four in the stand. We switched stands to hunt over a failed bean field. I'll talk more about that in a second, but we should really start to see a lot more deer movement. So let's hop over to day number four and see what we see. All right, well, we're back out in the stand. I guess it's, what, day number four now? And we're in a different location tonight. As you can see, we're in a box blind here, and I'll show you in a second, but we're out here sitting over what is essentially a failed bean field. Farmer came in in late June, planted some soybeans in here. Shortly thereafter, he sprayed for weeds, and then we had no rain for about a month. So the beans that did sprout kind of got put on hold because of no rain and spraying. That made the deer just come in here and demolish everything. Now, you guys will not be able to tell on camera but there is still some bean sprouts throughout the field and I see deer out here every evening including this evening when I first rolled into the property here there was a few of them standing out here already so if there's a spot where we're going to get something it's probably going to be off this field I didn't really want to hunt this field just yet but we're running out of time here in the early firearms doe season to get a doe or two in the freezer so here we are it's not a terrible high pressure spot for them. If we shoot something out of here with a bunch of other deer in the field at the same time, we can pretty much give it a week or two and they'll be right back out here again. So we definitely are going to see deer tonight. It's just a matter of if we can get them within our range or not. We're hunting with a shotgun and 100 yards is about as far as I want to push the bill. And this field, we can have a shot all the way out at 250 or so yards. Obviously, we are not taking that with this setup. So they kind of have to be up on this little ridge here it shouldn't be a huge problem i know they'll get here it's just a matter of if they'll show up before we run out of light or not as far as getting themselves up within range of us anyway so now it's just a waiting game there was deer here 20 minutes ago when i rolled in and i'm sure they'll be back pretty soon so let's wait it out and see if we can get something within range all right so here's the main front view from my sitting position here. That big tree you see right in the middle of your screen is 65 yards across to the tree line. Anything we see right up here in this corner of the field is within range. Now, if you can see, there's the drop off right out there. That ridge line is right at about 70 yards. That big patch of just dead wheat that you see out there along that far tree line, that is 125 yards to right in the middle of that. So really, we kind of need to have a deer up on this little ridge top that you see here. If it's up here, we're golden. So it's just a matter of a waiting game. The deer like to come out sporadically all throughout here. So if they come out up here on this top edge, it would be fantastic, but I've also seen them come out way down at the very far end down there, which is like 225 yards or something. And it'll take them a while to feed their way up to here. And we may run out of daylight by that time. So hopefully we can get something up on this ridge top because that's where we really need them to be at. So I 
Alright y'all, I know it's hard for you to see me, but those deer ended up staying right around the 180 yard mark for the rest of the evening here. I went ahead and took the chance while I had it to sneak out of that box blind. We definitely did not bump anything out of that field, so that's amazing. We can come back here tomorrow or the next day or something, and we should be able to get something. It wasn't a huge surprise to me that the deer came out where they did. I've seen them there several times before, but I am a little surprised that we didn't have something at least come out in front of us, but that's just luck of the draw sometimes. Either way, we definitely didn't disturb anything this evening, I don't believe, so we should be primed and ready to go for another evening in that stand. All right, y'all, well, we're back out here for, what is it, day number five now, I believe. We're back out here in this box blind over the same bean field or failed bean field, I guess you could say. There is still bean stubble in it though, so the deer are out here eating it every evening. Last night didn't quite go the way we wanted it to. We had some does, but they were waiting out the other end of the field, not in range. But tonight, we've got a pretty interesting setup when it comes to the weather. As you can see, we have a good amount of wind behind me here, but it has been raining all day long, and now we are in a pretty decent break period or at least that's what the radar says, but the wind has significantly picked up because I believe the first very, very far outer edges of that hurricane are coming through. So will that make the deer get up and move a little earlier? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I know we will see deer at some point tonight. It's just a case of we need them to be within range and we need them to get within range before we run out of light. So I know we'll see deer, it's just can we get a shot at one? We should have a decent chance, so let's wait it out and see what happens.
Oh, all right. That doe came in really quick. She came blasting across from the complete other side of the field. And I don't know what kind of made her jump there, but she went from being right at 95 yards to being pretty much right at about 55, which is just absolutely perfect. She was perfectly broadside to me, nice steady shot, hooked it right up tight to the shoulder, and she dropped right where she stood, man. That was, uh, that was very impressive. It's been a long time since I've had the chance to take a deer with a 12 gauge, and yeah, if you hit them where you're supposed to, it definitely puts the hammer on them. Okay, that was fantastic. It worked out perfect. We still got light to get her field dressed and stuff, so let's get down out of here, go take a look at her, and get her taken care of. That was definitely pretty fun. It took a few more days than I figured it would, but that's just luck of the draw when it comes to hunting sometimes. Either way, let's go get down and check her out. All right, y'all. Well, that was definitely a very interesting hunt to say the least. I really hope the wind isn't too bad, but hey, we got her done. Nice, healthy doe. Definitely nothing to complain about on this one, that's for sure. 55 yards with a 12 gauge, that's gonna get it done. So now let's get our field dressed here and get her to the butcher before we got more rain coming in this evening. But if nothing else, we got meat in the freezer, that's for sure. All right, well, got our field dress loaded up in the truck and ready to go to the butcher. So let's head on down the road. All right, we got her down here to the butcher place. It is, I don't know, about nine o'clock right now or so. And let's get her in the cooler all hung up and get her processed. All right, well, we got her all hung up here in the big freezer or cooler, I should say. Now it's just time to let the butcher do their thing. We'll get some nice meat out of her for the freezer. All right, well, that was a really fun hunt. It took a few days longer than what I expected it to, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. We got that deer dropped off at the butcher. I could have done it myself, but I like to support some of the local small businesses, and we got a couple of really great butchers in the area here. Especially for early doe season like this, I really like to drop my stuff off and let them take care of it, because it's well worth it. So, in a few days, we're going to have a freezer full of meat and be off to a really nice start for the season, that's for sure. The 870 did exactly what it was supposed to do, hammered that doe right where she stood, and really, we can't complain about that whatsoever. But, as always, leave your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this hunt. I'd like to do some more hunting before the regular season starts, so if there's another setup you might want to see me try take out hunting, let me know that down in the comments. I just really want to hear what y'all thought about that hunt. It was a little awkward and took a few more days than what I was expecting it to sometimes, but that's hunting for you. You can't win immediately every night as soon as you go out there in the stand. But hey, we've got meat in the freezer and that's exactly what we were looking to do. But with that being said, I'm going to get back to all the normal tests for you guys. We've got plenty more good stuff coming and some more hunting videos as well, so you're not going to want to miss those. But with that being said, I'm going to see y'all in the next one.